Good morning everyone, it's Audrey again and today I'm going to just be showing you my mini Black Friday haul. I didn't really get a lot of things this year compared to last year, um, but that's because I don't have as much money as I was making last year. So there won't be too much to show you right now, but as we grow closer to Christmas and I buy more things, I'll show you just things that I bought for Christmas, either if they're decorations or gift ideas or party type of things. I'll show it all to you. But today, this is going to be strictly the things I bought on Black Friday. And first off, I'm going to start with the Disney Store. Now, I had to work Black Friday, so I actually didn't go Black Friday shopping around midnight like most people did. I went at 6 in the morning, and the Disney Store was up to 50% off the whole store, and if you purchased anything before 10 a.m., it was an additional 20% off. Now personally, myself, I like to go to the Disney Store on Black Friday specifically for their ornaments. So my Christmas tree are those red and gold little ornament balls and then I have a whole bunch of Disney sketchbook ornaments. And this year I thought I would add another one to my collection. I had seen this earlier in November and I was waiting for Black Friday to buy it. But I got this really cute little stitch ornament and he's got some lights. He's kind of like eating them and he's strangled with uh, He's kind of eating them and strangled around them. Not strangled with them though. That would be so horrible. Those are regularly priced $16.95 but with a Black Friday discount I ended up getting it for about $8. Now the next place I ended up going to was Bath and Body Works. Now, Bath and Body Works had a great deal. They had buy three, get three free off of everything in the store. I really wanted to get their candles because I absolutely love their candles. They have this one candle called Merry Cookie, which kind of smells like sugar cookies, and I'm in love with it. However, the candles were regular. They were regularly priced and they're, they go for about $22.50 each. So I don't like to buy the candles when they're full price. I wait until they're at least $12.50 because they are so expensive. And they smell so good, but because they're three wick candles, they burn really, really quickly. So what I ended up doing was I bought some stocking stuffers. First off is Midnight for Men. This is the two-in-one hair and body wash. It smells really good. Yeah, it, it's like, it kind of smells really similar, but not exactly the same to their uh, ocean line for men and their noir line. I thought this would just make a really good gift and this retails about $12.50. I also bought the Ocean for Men Body Spray Deodorizer. This one smells really good and I thought that this pairs really well with the Midnight for Men and I bought both of these for my sister's boyfriend who will be spending Christmas with us for the first time this year. So I thought he would like these and I had already showed my sister these and she approves of the scents. The next thing I picked up was the Sweet Pea Lotion. So I just picked this up for my mom. And the last three items I got are all for my sister. I kind of spoil her a little bit around this time of the year. She has been really into uh, Bath & Body Works new signature collection this year. It's Magic in the Air. It is new for this season. And she legit wants everything. So far she only has the little hand sanitizer because that was all she could afford. 
but I got her a bunch of things with this great deal. I got her the Magic in the Air Shower Gel. The Magic in the Air Body Cream, because she likes these better than the lotions. And the Magic in the Air Body Mist. Now, I personally smelled them all and they are amazing. They also have this scent in the lotion they have them in the signature perfume. Um, I think the perfume goes for about $40. They also have a candle, which the candle is really beautiful. It is more expensive than their normal candles. I believe it's $29.50 instead of $22.50. The only difference between the Magic in the Air candle and the regular candle is the lid has jewels all over it, so it's really pretty. This scent also comes in a, they have a travel size gift set for I think about $15 or $16, and they have the full size gift set, which includes the shower gel, the mist, and the regular size lotion which is about the same size as the shower gel and that is about $37 give or take but I got them individually plus the body cream because that's what my third sister prefers with that deal it's much 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 cheaper and I ended up because I had coupons too they let you use coupons um, that day and I had a coupon for $10 off when you spend $30 so all six items with the sale plus my coupon only ended up costing me about $30 total which is great considering that each item is roughly $13 a piece so I thought they would make great stocking stuffers. The next thing I got, I got off Amazon. Pretty much the rest of the things I got were from Amazon. And not everything has come yet, even though I have Prime, because Black Friday was just two days ago. This is Sunday morning when I'm recording this. This item, however, came yesterday. And it's something off my sister's wish list. So this is actually her Christmas gift. But I bought her these women's Adidas, I think they're uh, Tiro 15 pants. They have them with different um, colors and shades. This one I got happens to be, here's the Adidas logo, oops, I'm showing you backwards. You got the Adidas logo right here. It's completely all black and signature adidas three stripes on this set is black as well it has a zipper on each leg you can open up this retails about $45 and I got it on Amazon for about $23 24 somewhere around there I don't remember the exact value. Oh, it also has these little side pockets right here. And yeah, this is just something my sisters wanted for a while. And when I saw it was on sale, I thought I would get it for her for Christmas. So this is the Adidas Tiro pants, the women's one. What I also got from Amazon, I got these two things for myself. I bought the 22 Jump Street DVD, that was $4. I've been wanting that for a while, but because it's not a very recent movie, I haven't been wanting to spend too much money for it, so when I saw that it was for $4, I bought it. Now Zootopia, I watched that a couple of months ago, I didn't watch the whole movie, but I did fall in love with it. and. I've been wanting that for a couple months now, but it's always been at least like $20. So Black Friday ended up buying it because they dropped it down to they dropped it down to 
That's what I ended up paying for the Zootopia DVD, which I thought was a steal considering that it's a relatively new DVD. Now both 22 Jump Street and Zootopia were normal DVDs, not Blu-ray. I did buy some things for my dad as well because he loves DVDs, but he is one of those people that has to have all of Blu-ray. So I bought Deadpool from Amazon and that was $9 for the Blu-ray. As well, I bought him the new Batman vs Superman DVD and that one This one is the Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice Dawn of Justice Ultimate Edition Blu-ray and theatrical Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital HD ultraviolet combo pack. This retails for about $35.99. And I saw Amazon wasn't the only place that had it this cheap, but I had ended up buying it on Amazon first. I know Best Buy and Target, I think Target had it for about 8 bucks and Best Buy had it for about 9 bucks. I bought it on Amazon for $8.99. And the last three things I ended up buying for myself because I love Christmas movies, but I don't have cable right now because I'm in the middle of moving and I actually haven't had cable for the last couple of months. Which is fine because I have Hulu and Netflix, but during Christmas time, all my favorite Christmas movies usually play on ABC Family. And that's the downside about not having cable is I can't watch these Christmas movies, so I bought a couple of my favorites. I bought Elf on Blu-ray. I bought The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus. That ended up costing me five bucks. Elf cost me about seven ninety nine. And I bought this combo DVD with Holiday in Handcuffs and Snow Globe. I believe that was $7.99 for those two movies in one set. That wraps up my Black Friday haul. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, um, as it gets closer to Christmas and I purchase more things, I'll show you what else I get. So maybe, maybe you have an idea of what you can get for someone else or just something that you wanted. I'll let you know what I think about it. Um, I, will, I just hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. And perfect timing that this video is ending because actually my mom is falling.